Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video is a wiring tutorial for the C-UniRC7 and VKV12 flight controller. The video is divided into three main parts. What products will be used in this test? How to wire it? How to present it? What products will be used in this test? The products used in this test are the VKV12 kit, C-UniRC7, and a 25.2V battery. The cables used are the UniRC 7S dot bus cable, UniRC 7 Telem cable, UniRC 7 receiver power cable and VKV12 power cable. How to wire it? The connector of UniRC 7 is GH 1.253 pin, while the connector of V12 is DuPont 2.54mm 4 pin. This cable is custom made based on the pinout. The UniRC 7 URT interface connects to the VKV12 module's Telem interface. The UniRC7 connector is GH1.252 pin, and the VKV12 connector is DuPont 2.54mm 4 pin. This cable is custom made based on the pinout. The UniRC 7S dot bus interface connects to the VKV12 module's S dot bus interface. The LED module connects to the V12's LED interface. The Genesis module connects to the V12's Genesis 1 interface. Power is connected to the V12. And the C-UniRC7 receiver is powered. How to present it. Turn on the remote control. First, enter the UniGCS ground station. Go to settings. Click on data link settings. Select UDP for data link 1 and set baud rate 1 to 11520. Open the VK Flight Controller Ground Station. The ground station will automatically recognize the remote control and connect.
If it doesn't connect, click Unconnected and add a label. I have already added the RC7 label here. Go into the label settings, select UDP for the connection mode, set port to zero, and server IP to 192.168.144.20.19856. Click connect and in the flight interface we can see that the ground station is now connected. In the ground station devices, go to the remote control interface, where you can check if the flight controller is connected to the SBUS receiver signal and calibrate the remote control signal. In the FC interface, you can update the flight controller's firmware. In the battery interface, you can manually input the battery voltage for more accurate readings. Below you can select the RTSP address for the gimbal. If your gimbal brand is not listed, you can manually input the RTSP address. This page allows you to map and configure payload devices such as throw payload servos, lighting, and other PWM signal controlled equipment. You can also view radar data on this page. The flight controller and radar are connected via the CAN hub interface. Click on factory mode, and the password is 88888. In factory mode, in the model interface you can select the drone frame type. This section includes the motor direction and wiring sequence. Make sure to follow the diagram for wiring, as improper wiring may cause the drone to crash. In the install interface configure the flight controller module antennas, remote control ESC etc. The GMSIS module should be installed in an open and unobstructed location on the fuselage, away from motors, high current cables, and steel objects to achieve optimal satellite acquisition and magnetic orientation performance. In the parameters interface, the default sensitivity settings usually work for most aircraft flight conditions. For some common power setups, recommended reference parameters are provided as follows. Some tuning guidance, Apart from the parameters in sensitivity settings, adjustments may be needed based on different power setups and aircraft platforms. Most other parameters do not need to be modified in most cases. When the fuselage is shaken at a lower frequency, the roll attitude self-stability and pitch attitude self-stability can be appropriately added. Add and subtract 1020 at a time. The roll damping and pitch damping can be appropriately added and subtracted by 1 to 2 each time. When the body high frequency vibration can be appropriately reduced roll attitude from pitch attitude from stability plus or minus 10 to 20 at a time. The roll damping and pitch damping can be appropriately reduced by adding or subtract 1 to 2 each time. When the hand lever in the back aircraft performance sway back and forth once or twice, then the convergence to the horizontal posture. Can be appropriately increase roll damping, pitch damping, add and subtract one two at a time. For special requirements, you can contact our technical support team. Please provide information about the aircraft platform's ESC model, wheelbase, takeoff weight and propeller size. We will provide suitable parameter references and responses. In the maneuver interface, we can set the aircraft's flight speed, automatic climb descent, return to home speed and manual flight speed. This page allows you to check the throttle signal output by the flight controller to each ESC. 
If you are using a Ken ESC, you can configure the Ken ESC number and check more specific information such as the ESC voltage, current, and RPM. In the remote control interface, you can check if the flight controller is connected to the SBUS receiver signal and calibrate the remote control signal. The options for American hand and Japanese hand on this page only modify the display position of the throttle and your channels in the joystick diagram. If you need to actually change the remote control hand type, you must modify it within the remote control's own app or settings. This concludes the C UniRC 7 and VK V12 flight controller wiring tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more, please follow the World Drone Market channel. See you in the next video.